in this most frigid of winters. Two contestants battle it out to prove their worth. One shall ascend to the top of the highest mountain in victorious triumph. The other shall waste away in everlasting winter. Who shall it be? Watch and find out. So yeah, like that creepy announcer lady said, this is a hail-on-hail battle between myself and the man, the myth, the legend, Jedi Mono 8895. Now, the way this battle came about is that I was basically chatting with Jedi Mono on Skype, and I mentioned to him that I wanted to battle him at some point. And he was like, you want to do an OU battle right now? And I was like, sure. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about our teams, but I will say that aside from both of us using two Pokemon, we also use the same movesets. Like, we both use Subroost Kyu Rem, and we both use Subseed Obama Snow. Other than that, our teams are as different as can be. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, let's just start the battle, shall we? So I'm going to lead off with my Gliscor as he leads off with his Conkleter. I'm thinking, oh hey, free turn to set up Stealth Rocks. So that's exactly what I do. He switches out to Obama Snow, and I'm like, oh crap. Gliscor is not going to live a blizzard from this thing, so I switch out of there and go into Electivire as he sets up a substitute. And I'm like, damn it. This is a sub-seed of Amma Snow, isn't it? It is. So I go for the Fire Punch to break that sub as he goes for the Leech Seed. Now, I anticipate him to switch out to Quagsire to take the next Fire Punch. So, I switch out of there and go into my own Obama Snow as he switches out into Quagsire, which is absolutely fucking brilliant. So yeah, he has to switch out of there because he, he wants to, because any smart person will want to preserve their Quagsire. So he switches out to Heatran, and I set up my own substitute. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm behind a sub, he can't touch me. So I might as well set up that Leaf Seed. He goes for the Lava Plume, and I set up that Leaf Seed. Yeah! Alright. So basically, I get the damage on Heatran. Heatran has like a fourth of his health gone, which is pretty cool. I switch out to, he switches out to Reuniclus as I go for Protect, and I'm like, okay, Leaf Seed is not going to hurt this thing, so I need to back out of there and go into something else. And I pick Q-Rem. I'm not sure why I picked Q-Rem, because if he had gone for Focus Blast, I would be fucking dead. So, basically, yeah. I'm guessing he doesn't have Focus Blast, because he keeps going for Psy Shock over and over and over. I go for Roost, as he goes for Psy Shock again... And yeah, I go for Blizzard. He goes for Toxic, and that limits my QREM survivability, so that really sucks fat monkey cock. And uh, yeah. So I go for another Blizzard, and I get the Freeze Hacks on Reuniclus, so I'm like, fuck yeah! I just froze your Reuniclus! How's that feel? Anyways, he backs out of there and goes into his Heatran. Now, Heatran still has his balloon, and I go for Earth Power to finish off Rayuniclus. So I was like, God damn it. So yeah, I need to back out of there, because I don't really want Kyurem to take the Lava Plume, and I go into my Tentacruel. He sets up Stealth Rocks, so yeah. I'm thinking, alright, he has nothing to spin, to spin block me with. And he switches out to Quagsire, so I go for that Rapid Spin to remove the rocks. That's going to come in key because Q-Rem and Obama Snow do not like rocks very much. So yeah, I go for Giga Drain on this Quagsire. This is an offensive Tentacruel, by the way. So, yeah. It has Giga Drain. Anyways, he switches out into his own Q-Rem. And I go for Blizzard. It does not do a whole lot to Q-Rem, and Earth Power does a fuck ton to me. So, yeah. That really, really stinks. So anyways, I go for another Blizzard, waiting for him to finish me off, because I want to get a free switch into Mamoswine. But he goes for Roost, and I'm like, dude, come on, kill my Tentacruel. I want you to do it. Come on, do it. Do it, 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 do it. I want you to do it. I want to get that free switch into Mamoswine. So yeah, I go for Giga Drain. Does not do that much. He goes for Roost. So yeah, this is just getting kind of stally here. 
I go he goes for Earth Power and finally takes out my Tentacruel. So now I get that free switch into Mammoth Swine. And I go for the superpower on his Q-Ram, but he switches out to Obama Snow. I'm not exactly sure why he switches out to Obama Snow. But um, in any case, I get that um, superpower and I kill him. Which is fucking cool. So he switches out to Conkledur, and I'm like, okay, I need to back the fuck out of there. Because I don't like, because Mammoth Swine does not like fighting type attacks. And I switch out to Gliscor, and Gliscor takes that Drain Punch like a motherfucking boss! And, uh, yeah. So basically, he switches out to Heatran. He still has his Balloon, so Earthquake is not going to damage Heatran at all. And I'm like, fuck! This thing really needs its Balloon gone, so I go for Ice Fang to get rid of its Balloon. And he goes for Stealth Rock. I go for Earthquake and finish off Heatran, and that's that. See, so yeah, I get that Poison Heal Recovery, and he switches out to Q-Rat. So, I back out of there, fearing the Blizzard, but he goes for Roost, and I'm like, okay, you're really starting to piss me off, dude. Your q Ram has to go. So I set up a Substitute, he sets up his own Substitute. And he goes for Roost to get his health back. I go for the Blizzard. So now he's vulnerable to an attack from Leech Seed, unless if he decides to go for Substitute again. He goes for Earth Power here. I'm not entirely sure why, but I go for Blizzard again, not Leech Seed. I'm not sure why either. I don't know what I was thinking, but whatever. He goes for Blizzard, knocks out my sub. Now I go for Leech Seed, and it misses. So I'm like, damn it. He sets up a substitute, and I go for Leaf Seed again, and I'm like, double damn it. So he goes for Roost again to get his health back. I go for Blizzard to take out his sub. And stuff. So now he switches out of there for some reason, uses his Reuniclus' as Death Fodder to get a free switch into his next Pokemon, which is Conkledur. So now Conkle Derp is on the field again. I switch out of there, fearing the fighting type attack, and go back into my Gliscor. He goes to Stone. He goes for Stone Edge, anticipating that. You'll see that Stone Edge does quite a bit to my Gliscor later in the match, but um, it doesn't do that much here because Roost temporarily takes away your flying type. See, so yeah, I go for Earthquake on the next turn. He goes for Stone Edge again. Yeah, you'll see, you see it does quite a bit of damage to me. So it's good that I roosted there. He backs out and goes into q -Ram. Now I go for Roost again, and I'm like, okay, I really don't want to get hit by Blizzard for a, because Gliscor is 4x weak to ice. I go out into Mamoswine. He goes for Blizzard, it does a lot, especially considering that Mamoswine is thick fat. So it's like, what the hell? So he takes out my Mammoth Swine, and I'm a sad panda. Because I lost my Mammoth Swine. But in any case, I go for Cross Chop and take out his Q-Rem. So yeah. Q-Rem's down, and now his only Pokemon left is Conkleder. So yeah. He goes for Mach Punch. That takes me out. And I decided to send in Gliscor to finish off Conkleder. And he goes for Mach Punch, does not do that much to me at all because Gliscor resists those fighting type attacks. And I go for Earthquake, and he is down. So that is the end of the game. Good job, Jedi Mono 8895. That was a fun match. Really enjoyed playing it. You should really, you guys should really go check out his YouTube channel. He's really good at commenting and stuff. He's like one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Go check him out now. Now, damn it. All right, peace out, guys.